so everybody been messaging me talking about why are you closing your gap or why did you get braces you don't need to close your gap because it's so pretty and <laughs> When you need a break, I'm here a set. Truly, I just really want the best for you. Only making sure the stage is set for you. If you want it, you can get it in a set. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sasha for all of you guys that don't know. If you're new to my channel, remember to like, share, and subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. So as you can see and as you can read by the title of this video um i'm closing my gap so without further ado let's get right into the so video. i made a couple notes about stuff that i really want to talk about as it regards me getting braces the first one is how it feels it feels okay to be honest the first day i got it though i was talking a little bit weird and i was doing this a lot because you know something new is on your teeth so you keep touching it with your tongue but it's okay um around the third day it was a little bit painful it wasn't too hard to, to not manage and i didn't need any pills or anything like that for the pain like it was okay i just had to eat like soft stuff like mashed potatoes anything soft i was okay with um how it made me look so as you can see it makes my space wider um if you didn't know that i have a gap tooth before now you know but i'm okay with it to be honest and so far as you can see it's only the top ones i got so far because down the line they're going to put on the bottom ones there is more work to be done on the top than the bottom um actually there's not much work as you can see i'm gonna zoom in in my mouth there's not much work at the top it's i had to remove my two bottom wisdom teeth I did that on the January 22nd and I got the braces on the first. They just put the top ones in first and then a couple months down the line they're going to put the bottom one. I don't really have much to do on the bottom either. It's just a little bit of space I have here on the bottom and here. But that's basically it. So they will put the bottom ones maybe four months down the line. As regards how long I'll be having these braces on, I'm going to have it on for 14 months. So... In 14 months time hopefully i don't have it on longer than that maybe um 15 months maximum hopefully but i don't have a problem having it on and the top one doesn't feel bad and when they put on the bottom one i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get used to the top one the feeling so it's not gonna be that bad when i have on the bottom one it's just when i'm talking to people no like without mass that is like anybody that i'm close with you, it's obvious that i have braces on like you can see the space because <laughs> the braces is there it's just obvious than ever that's the only thing i don't like but i'm okay with it to be honest so why i actually got braces so many of you guys probably don't know this but i always had a little bit of space between my top teeth um from when i was younger however it has gotten wider the older I have become and I don't know why so um, I just decided that I wanted to close my gap and then in the future I'm gonna allow it to come back like maybe when I'm 50 60 or so I'll stop wearing my um, my retainer and allow the gap to come back but for now I don't really like the fact that it's getting wider I love my gap don't get it twisted I love it like that's my signature I used to have locks and I used to have gap too no I don't have any locks and I'm getting rid of my gap too. People will be like, oh, I've got a message saying that don't close your gap, but you guys don't understand. And I'm not doing this for anybody. I'm actually doing it for me. So when I'm done, um, there might be a little space or I might just close the entire thing. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to take you guys on the journey. Maybe um, every two months when I go for my, my tightening, then I'll give you an update um, on the progress of um me closing my gap so yeah i have braces now i'm talking weird i'm fine with it though um when i get the bottom one maybe everything will feel more even out like when i'm talking i don't feel as if my i have to push my my lip 
people with braces would understand like i have to push my lip on top of my my teeth to cover it a little bit but it's a weird weird process but yeah so in two months time i'm going for my next checkup that's in march 29 and i'm going to do a video um when i'm doing my checkup and my tightening um we're going to see if there's any i'm gonna take a before picture um today because i had it in from february 1st um so i'm gonna take a picture today and then i'm gonna compare it with the picture from the 29th of march to see if there's any progress i read up online to say um to see how soon you can see progress and i'm seeing like people saying three months four months i don't think we will see any difference but at the end of the day i'm still going to update you guys every two months when i go for my checkup and to tighten my braces to see the progress so hang in there for 14 months with me um my journey to close in my yap yes so that's basically it's a quick video um if you have any questions as it regards um me getting braces like if you want to know more about the cost etc just leave a comment or if you have any additional questions that you want to ask it doesn't have to be um relating to money feel free to leave it in the comment section and i know i i'm looking weird talking right now with the braces on but you'll get used to it so that's the end of my youtube video thank you once again guys for checking in on me this is the update as it regards what's going on in my life and remember if you're new remember to like share and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified anytime i post a video so until next time i'll see you in my next video god bless you guys bye